Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way to the Swamp Lookout Tower. But before we do, like always, let's talk about everything I did off screen. And I didn't do anything. I did absolutely nothing, so there's nothing to talk about. So let's go ahead and go into our map and mark a few things out. Today we're going to be going through the Celia town. But before we do all that, we're going to put a marker here. We're going to have a boss fight a little later. And then we're going to come over here. And then for the third one, we're going to come over here. Let's go ahead and make our way up these stairs. Right here it says stop by the shack beyond the southern gate. We'll be doing that in a little bit. But first we need to make it through this area. There's a bunch of these invisible mages, so be careful for that. I'm going to come along here. You can see that there's these fog doors. We can't get into them just yet. We're actually going to have to light some braziers to be able to get through them. Let's run up these stairs. We're going to grab ourselves a golden seed and our first brazier. Let's go ahead and hop on torrent. We're going to make getting up this tower a little easier. You can still get up here on foot, but using torrent makes it a little easier. Let's climb up top here. That's the first brazier that'll open up a door for us. We're going to hop down and then we'll get right back on Torrent. If we come over here. Oh no. Let's go back around. If you want, it's a little easier to do that off Torrent. So we're going to go right over here. Then right over here, we'll hop off Torrent, and then we'll get the Staff of Loss. It's okay. It's not the best staff in the world. Let's go back up these stairs for the third time now. I'm gonna hop over to this, hop over to this. And then you want to be at the peak of the roof, so you can hop up there. Come over here. And then we'll hop off Torn again so we don't fall off. Get the Cerulean Tear Scarab. Another helmet that will help you out when you... Oh, almost made a mistake here. Want to hop up here and then hop over. So we can get over here. Get some toxic mushrooms. We can run across. Get this marionette. Be careful we got one up there too. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot that scarab. Get ourselves double slash. And we can come over here. Here. Marionette will come down. I think they're like arionettes, marionettes, or whatever. Puppets. We'll put it that way. You can run and jump across. Come over here. I am having the worst time at hopping through these roofs.
go ahead and lay that brazier. We only have one more left. We'll hop back on Torrent. Come over here. Didn't mean to get that backstab, but it all works out. We'll hop down right here. Get ourselves a stone sword key. Just to get up top there, we had to hop on torrent. And then this is the last brazier that we need to light. Now we can fall down. And we can fall down again. Hop over here. Hop right over here. Scoop this up. And then we can come up here. We're going to come over this way. We have a few enemies to kill over here. Nothing too impossible. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to roll in time. Guess not. These guys are everywhere. They can disappear on you and teleport to a different area as well. Let's grab this painting. We'll be getting that um, later on in the walkthrough. Not just yet. And you want to try to take out all these guys if you can. It's just going to make your life easier. Get the Night Comet. It's a pretty cool spell. It's kind of like an upgraded version of the um, Glintstone Comet. Get the Spell Drake Talisman plus one. That'll boost our defense against magic attacks. Putting that on. We'll kill this guy. Knew that guy was going to run up on us. It's okay. We'll come over here. And we want to just keep running around and taking out these guys as they come. And there should be two guys down here. Careful of the dog. He can proc some scarlet rock scarlet rot on you. And then around this corner we get another guy. Right here we get an imbued sword key that will be useful later on. And then last guy. Let's go ahead and hop on Torrent. We're going to go fight a boss. Seal ourselves up. We're going to go ahead and put our flask on, buff our weapon. This is not a hard boss fight. It's extremely easy. You shouldn't need Oleg, but like always, I'm going to summon him in anyways. super easy get the Nox flowing sword for that you can turn that into a whip pretty cool it 
get the Lestats Glintstone Staff. It's super powerful, but every time you use a spell with it, it's going to cost more FP. Let's go ahead and hop on Torrent. We're going to head to our second marker now. Just ride through Celia here. You can kill that guy if you want. I'm not going to bother with any more enemies. And then off to the left, we're going to hop up here, but be very careful. There is a big dog over here. Try not to get its attention. A pleasure to see you. A pleasure indeed. I am Gari, a great sage. In my day, anyway. I'd hoped to ask a favor when one of your ilk came along. A strapping young tarnished, able to cross the scarlet swamp of Aeonia. Don't fret. I'll provide fine recompense. Should you accept, I will teach you the secret of Celia, the town you see there. Ah, then you are willing to lend a hand, are you? I need your help to heal a certain young girl. Her name is Millicent. You will find her beyond Celia, resting at the church atop the cliff, stricken by the rotting sickness. The rotting sickness that afflicts Millicent has no cure. When the Erd Tree flourished, even the demigods could not stave off its effects, despite their nigh godhood. But Millicent's suffering can be ameliorated. For this, you are to find a certain needle. Seek the deep, scarlet swamp of Aeonia outside Celia's bounds. The needle, made from unalloyed gold, is lost somewhere there. Let's go ahead and go get that needle. It's not far from here. Just be sure to ride around the dog. Careful, we're going to have the troll that's going to throw big old pots at us. Just kind of ride down here with caution. And we're going to head north. Going to have a few items to scoop up. Somber smithing stone four. And then over here. Be careful, this one does explode. Try not to stand too close to it. But we get the Ash of War Sacred Ring of Light. That is the ring that the clean rot knights throw out, so you'll be able to do the same. Pretty cool Ash of War. It is faith based. I'm gonna be sure to rest at this grace. Now this boss fight, it's not hard, but the enemy is quite beefy and summons in some enemies as well to help him. That's okay. We have Oleg, our MVP. This is Commander O'Neill. When he does that, step away. Don't want the Scarlet Rot to build up on you. I'm 
Or maybe you want to be like me and you do want Scarlet Rot to build up on you. There we go. Commander O'Neill is down. For killing him, you get the commander's, commander's standard and you get the unannoyed gold needle. Let's light this grace. We're going to sit at it for just a moment. Just to get our stuff back. All our flasks and whatnot. And then we're going to ride out the way that we came. Just where this grace is. And then we're going to head east. Just kind of head east. Make your way towards this area right here. And we're going to head right back to that shack. Again, be careful for the dog. Let's talk to Gowrie again. Oh, you found the unalloyed gold needle. As promised, I've detailed the secret of Celia right here. Go on. It's yours. Now let me have a look at the needle. Hmm. Hmm. Well, well, this is a marvel indeed. The work of a true artisan, a meticulous, bold craftsman who grasps the essence of life. Can you give me some time with this? As well made as it is, it won't be much use snapped in half, will it? So what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of the game. And when we come back, he'll have that needle fixed. So we're going to exit out and then come right back in. I'll see everybody in just a second. Let's go ahead and put our lantern on. Talk to Gowrie again. I have awaited your return. The needle is repaired. Now it will forestall the rotting sickness, I'm sure. Will you give it to the girl, Millicent? I will reward you in kind. Millicent rests at the church atop the cliff beyond Celia, the town yonder. Tended to by the witless pests who worship her, or rather her rotting sickness, as a god. A wretched fate, indeed. The poor girl, she never wished for any of this. Do you find it peculiar that I would show such concern for the girl? Well, I'm the one that found her. A mere babe in the swamp of Aeonia. She is one of my dear daughters. But the rotting sickness erodes one's memory. I doubt that she remembers the first thing about me. Oh, I must be getting old. I didn't always worry so much. <laughs> Let's go into our map. We're going to put a few markers down. Our first marker is going to be right up here. Our second one is going to be right over here. And then our third one is going to be way over here. Let's hop on Torrent. We're going to be hopping off in a second. We're going to be grabbing a summoning pool. Go ahead and scoop that up. And then we'll hop back on Torn, and we're just going to ride straight through Celia. It's okay if you get hit at the top where this church is. We're going to be having a grace anyways. We'll also have a grace right here as well. 
So we'll light this. And then we will head up to the top. Now be careful, there's going to be some rolling balls that are going to try to kill us. You want to just dodge out of the way at the very last second. Not that hard to dodge. Want to come up to the top here. We don't want to aggro everything over here. If we don't have to. Just hug that cliff side if you can. And then right over here we have a pest. We're going to take it out. Also, there is a bunch of sacramental butt over here if you want to collect it. Light this grace, and then we are going to talk to Millicent. Give her this needle. Who's there? Well, it matters not. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. It is a curse. Not to be meddled with by man. You ask that I stab myself with the needle. To quell the scarlet rot. But how? <laughs> Never mind. I've decided I would rather trust you. And simply continue to spoil from within. Would you mind averting your eyes for a moment? <sighs> well, that was easier than expected. But, but why do I feel so? rest of that grace she's gonna pass out while we're resting at the grace let's go ahead and increase the amount of health we get back for using our flask and then we're gonna talk to Millicent again I hoped to see you again my apologies for when last we met I fainted before I could even thank you Everything is as you said. Since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to writhe. Even the nightmares have abated. And now, though I can scarcely believe it myself, I can move as I please. Not that I could ever truly repay you, but I would like you to have this. By way of thanks. A token though it is. She's going to give us the Prothesis Wearer Heirloom Talisman that will boost our decks if we put it on. I'm considering leaving on a journey with the needle buried in my flesh. I've started to recall, but dimly, my destiny. It's all thanks to you. My name is Millicent. I pray fate permits us meet again. It will. Let's head over to the second marker. It's going to be a starlight shard. And then we're going to ride down towards the west here. And then instead of going to the north, we're actually going to ride down this way. Just be careful for the pests. gonna kill these bat ladies maybe or just get poisoned by them Let's heal our poison Come over this way, kill this bat. 
And then run over here. Take her out. Now they drop Golden Ruin 9s, but you cannot farm these. They only drop them once. Be aware of that. I fucking hate bats. Grab that golden ruin nine there. And then we're gonna hop up top here. We'll take out this bat. Just because. And then we'll grab the golden ruin nine. Or that's a five, I'm sorry, not nine. Let's hop back on torrent. Over there, you can see the troll that was throwing big old pots at us. Be careful. Trap over here, or ambush, not really a trap. Let's heal ourselves. Get all our flasks back. Then we'll hop on Torrent once again. We'll come to the top. And drink our flask. Buff our weapon. And we're going to be fighting a Bloodhound Knight. Over here we get the Eternal Darkness spell. Pretty cool spell. If there's somebody in PvP or an enemy casting spells at you, you can cast a spell and it will absorb all the spells being cast at you. Really cool. For now, we're going to fast travel back over to the Celia Understair. I'll see everybody over there. Go ahead and hop on Torrent. We're going to ride down here. Just hug the bank. We're going to go right back over to Gallery. Talk to him. Just kidding, it's Millicent. Let's go ahead and talk to her. Oh, hello again. Something about this place felt familiar to me, so I decided to pay a visit, hoping to find someone here, but I've only found emptiness. Perhaps before my departure, I needed someone to say farewell to. Well, never mind that. I must focus on my journey. For which I have you to thank. I must stay strong. So for this one, we're going to have to exit out again and come back in. I'll see everybody once we exit out and come back in. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to Gallery. Thank you kindly for giving the needle to Millicent. Now she too can begin her journey and stare her fate straight in the eye. You've been a saint through and through. As thanks, I vow to impart to you my knowledge of the lost sorceries of the Selians, descendants of the Eternal. Oh, you noticed, did you? Indeed, Millicent did visit this hovel of a home. It seems the memories eaten away by the rotting sickness yet remain, but faintly. However, she has no need of me anymore. No, she must embark on her journey and stare her fate in the eye. I mustn't impede. 
As I've aged, I've found the best way to aid the young is to be forgotten. Let's go ahead and look at some of his sorceries real quick. Two really cool ones, the Night Shard and then Night Maiden's Mist. This is kind of like the Pestilent Mist from Dark Souls 3. You can cast it out and it uh, will have a big mist that will damage enemies or a boss. Just got to be careful it will damage you as well. And we already have the Glintstone Star so we don't need that. I'm going to buy all of this off screen as always. I know I keep saying like, oh, I'm going to stop saying that. But I, I like to just be a broken record, I guess. Let's go ahead and go to the round table hold. I'll see everybody over there in just a second. Turn our lantern on. We're going to go upgrade a few weapons. Well, I took you no matter it's lay out your arm. Let's upgrade our Bloodhound's Fang. And then we can upgrade our Dragon Communion Seal. And we can start upgrading our Lord Sworn's Quality Greatsword again. Along with our Claymore. And then our bow one time. Let's go over to the Twin Maiden Husks. We're going to turn in some bell bearings. We're going to offer the Somber Miner's Bell Bearing one. And then also offer Thop's Bell Bearing. Now you'll be able to get an infinite amount of somber smithing stones one and twos. And also, if you have not bought Thop stuff, you can buy it here now. Let's go back over to the round table holds grace and then we'll end the video. Alrighty, everyone. I think this is a good place to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by. I really appreciate it, and it does mean the most to me. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.